Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's episode, we are going to do another workout video. As per request, we are going to focus on our upper body, how to have toned arms. Before we start with this workout, I want to encourage all the ladies out there to not be afraid of lifting heavier weights. That is the only time you can actually make progress and to actually have and build lean muscle. All right, so I know especially in our culture for Filipinos, you just want to look, like you said, lean, but more like skinny on the skinnier side. It's different here in America. People are actually trying to have, to look more stronger and to have muscle. In the Philippines, in our culture, muscle equates to, oh, you're too manly. Oh, you're, you're getting too skinny. But you know what, ladies? If it makes you feel strong, F it. F whatever these other people think. Because even up to this day, if I cared about what other people think of me, then I wouldn't have the body that I truly desire. You know, whenever I post workout videos, I still get comments from guys. Oh, you're too skinny. Oh, you're getting too muscular. No, I'm not. <laughs> I feel strong. I feel empowered. And that's the power that you can own, all right? Anyways, let me answer a few questions before we start. How much weight? All right, I can't recommend the right weight for you because we all start at different fitness levels. And for some people, they can start with between eight to 10 pounds. So it really depends. As long as you're not compromising your form, then go ahead and increase the weight. But rule of thumb, if you can, let's say you're using five pounds and you've been using five pounds for what, the last three months and you come to me and you say, I'm not seeing any progress, I've been doing this work. It's because you're hitting plateau because you're not putting enough effort or you're not actually challenging your body enough to build that lean muscle mass, you know? So if you've been using the same weight for like I said, three months, then you're not really gonna see any progress. Rule of thumb, if you can do more than 12 reps, 12 repetitions, let's say bicep curls, shoulder presses, whatever it may be, without any struggle, and you're just going through the motion, that is a good sign for you to lift and pick up a heavier set. Now on your next round, let's say you're doing three reps, three sets of 12 reps. On your next round, you start with, maybe you start with five pounds, you start with seven pounds, and then at rep eight, nine, or 10, you should be having a hard time. That means you're progressing. And then on your third set, you can still use the same weight, so you don't have to, so you don't compromise your form. But the week after that, your first set should be at seven pounds already. You're not gonna go back to your five pounds because it's like, oh, let's take a step forward and let's take a step backward. It's not, you're, this is why you're not seeing any progress. Don't be afraid because honestly, I've started fully like lifting weight early this year, like heavier weights. I can shoulder press 25 pounds each dumbbell. Do I look manly to you? Do I feel strong? Heck yeah. That's how you're gonna see progress again. All right, that's for the weight question. Next. What do you normally eat for pre-workout? Um, it really depends on the time, the timing of your workouts. I train every morning, so I normally train after breakfast. So I don't necessarily need to eat a pre-workout meal. That is kind of like a pre-workout meal. So I normally would have three egg whites or two whole eggs with one egg white scrambled with spinach, tomatoes, and other veggies, and then seasoning like garlic powder, salt, pepper, and then um, a side of toast, like gluten-free bread, and then coffee. So that is my breakfast, aka my pre-workout meal, but whenever I train in the afternoons, um, I would 
sometimes I would just drink coffee and have toast with protein like uh, or rice cakes with tuna so you kind of need the protein and carbs and you also need carbs to use for energy and um, that's it um, I don't take pre-workouts every single time because I don't want to get used to it I would only take it for when I need for my like heavy lifting days for my legs and that would really help me focus as well that helped me to focus and to like I said to lift heavier and to just give that that extra push but don't get used to that um, there are a lot of more natural um, things to take <laughs> instead of a pre-workout most more natural rather um, like sometimes even just a, a tablespoon of honey and water that shoots up your energy um, that's healthier than whatever chemicals that you put in your body if you're drinking pre-workouts every single day anyways what else one more question how often do I train if you want to tone your upper body you can't train them once a week same thing with glutes and legs if you're trying to build glutes you can't train that muscle group once a week you have to repeat it at least two to three times per week consistently repetitively I train my upper body two times a week I would have a day for like two day split upper body um, first day would be like back and shoulders the next day would be bison and tries sometimes I would put a few chest workouts here and there but that's not really my main goal I like training my back I like to have a strong back and have a nice like nice shoulders so that is my main focus so I train it twice a week and then three days for my lower body I do I have different split days for glutes and hamstrings or quads and hamstrings and all that stuff so three days for lower body two days for upper body how often next question how often you should should you do cardio honestly about three to four times a week if you're trying to lose weight and uh, more focus on fat loss but to be honest when you're actually lifting weights and you're lifting heavier you don't need to do as much cardio as you need to be because with lifting weights you're actually burning more fat rather than just doing a 40 minute cardio um, so that's something to think of as well uh, food for thought you don't always need to do cardio because I get I hear from most of my followers you guys telling me oh I run five times a week this and that but I'm not seeing any progress well your your body is hitting plateau because now you're not really pushing yourself um, it's it's gotten used to that type of exercise so you got to switch it up and with resistance training that would help you to burn more calories and burn more fat and have lean muscle mass all right I think I've pretty much answered most of y'all's questions so let's go ahead and start our upper body workout Let's go! Let's go warm up. Arm circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna punch. Eight, nine, 
14, 15. Next, we do tricep dips. We'll do 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Dumbo overhead rainbow. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Pull the shoulder taps. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We're gonna do one arm kickbacks. We'll do ten on each side. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. You should feel it on your triceps. In three, two, one. One. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna do regular bicep curls. We'll do twelve reps. Three, two, one, two, three, four, for daily workouts and nutrition guide, please go to my playbook. It's www.mitchwolfolk.com. And if you're looking for an in-depth one-on-one online coaching, please send me an email. I will put the links down below so we can work together and reach your goals. I would love to help you. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great weekend.